This is the closest thing to AGI running on your laptop. This is real time, this is not sped up. I mean, look, the speed is just insane. This is a new AI model from Alibaba called QWQ32B. And not only is it better than both OpenAI01 and DeepSeeGAR1, it's also completely open source and small enough for us to run it on our laptops. So in this video, I'll show you step by step how to install the model, how to run it locally on your machine and how to build AI agents with it. Now, what makes this model truly amazing is that it achieves the performance of DeepSeq R1 while being 20 times smaller. And this isn't just cherry pick data, it's on mathematical reasoning, coding proficiency, and general problem solving capabilities. Guys, this might be a bigger deal than the release of DeepSeq itself. So now, inside of Vectal.ai, you can use QWQ32B. Now, for those of you who don't know what infinite thinking is, this is a fully autonomous AI agent that constantly works and thinks about your tasks. Like, look at this, it's coming in so fast. It's like hundreds of tokens per second. So if you want to access infinite thinking, go to Vectal.ai and sign up. So now let me show you how you can run it locally on your computer. I'm gonna use Olama for this. This is a great tool. If you don't have Olama already, what are you doing? Like this is a must have for anybody who's serious about AI. Super easy to download, literally just click this and install the application. At the top, click on models and you'll already see the QWQ model because right now it's popular. If you don't see it, just type in QWQ at the top and click here. So literally just copy this and then open a terminal. And if you're like, okay, David, but I don't know how to open a terminal. Well, first off, on Mac OS, just do spotlight search, type in terminal. And again, if you need more assistance, just ask Vectal. Copy this, then open the terminal and literally paste this in. So the first time you do this, it will not be as fast. As you can see, I can send the message right away. First, when you do this, you need to install this model. This model is, uh, let's see, 20 gigabytes, right? So depending on your internet, obviously, you only need to install it once. After that, you can just chat with it. So if I say, list out the seven strongest selling points of Bitcoin. And now my MacBook over here is gonna start to get louder and louder as it's dedicating resources to it. Keep in mind, I'm also recording. And look, this is amazing speed. All of this is just reasoning, right? That's what makes this model so powerful. And not to mention, we haven't even got to the part where we start to build AI agents with it. This is the next step actually. So, and we can even see the system prompt actually. You are a helpful and harmless assistant. You are Quen, developed by Alibaba. You should think step by step. And when you need to stop it, just do slash buy or control plus D, and then that's how you close the chat. All right, so now that you know how to run the terminal, the next step is for us to start building AI agents with this model, because as I've showed you, this unlocks endless potential applications. What I'm gonna use is cursor, and I'm gonna close my folder here. So click on open project, QWQ, and this is literally an empty folder, right? Now, if for some reason you don't have cursor installed yet, don't worry, just ask Vectal, right? Whatever work you do, Vectal adapts to you. So once you have cursor installed, open up an empty project, just like I did, right? So again, you need to, when you open it, it will look like this. So click on open project, QWQ, just open any empty folder, doesn't matter, right? We're gonna use open router to build AI agents. So. Let me make this chat smaller and let's focus on this, right? So open router is this website, which basically lets you use AI models through multiple providers. So when we click, you can search through it, right? So let's do QWQ 32B, we want this one. And we can see that all the different providers in here. The beauty about open router is that it will choose the providers to maximize uptimes and reduce costs, right? So as you can see, when some providers crash or like have downtimes, open router will switch to a different provider. That way your AI agents can keep running always. That's why Vectal is so stable because we use open router in the backend. The beauty of this is it's also compatible with OpenAI SDK. So it's super easy to build with, right? If you've watched some of my videos or if you've tried building AI agents before, this probably doesn't scare you because it's super simple code. And again, we're gonna use cursor to do the coding for us, right? In 2025, you no longer have to memorize syntax or write lots of code. You can build with AI. And actually, Vectal itself, which right now does about $11,000 in monthly recurring revenue, this was built with Cursor. I built this myself with the help of Claude and Cursor. And there are still people who believe like, oh, you, you have to be a programmer to build software. If you have decent work ethic, and if you have a bit of ambition, you can build your own AI startup in 2025. And if you wanna see how I did it step by step, all of that is documented in the new society. So inside of the classroom, you can see from day one how I built Vectal. 
So if you want to build your own AI startup, make sure to join the new society. We have all of the resources you need in the classroom, as well as weekly support calls and a community of over 700 people on the cutting edge of AI. It's going to be linked below. All right, so let's uh, link up the API. So we need this. I'm going to simply copy what Open Router gives us, right? So this is the extent of Vibe coding. You copy the documentation, you paste it into cursor and we say, create a new main.py file and add the code above in there. And you can use any model you want. Uh, I would recommend actually either GPT 4.5 or Claude 3.7. So what we need is actually the API key, right? So this is a, uh, what we copied will not have the API key. So go to the top right and make sure to log in into Open Router. You can use uh, your GitHub or your Google. Super simple, takes 20 seconds to log in. Once you're logged in, click on the top right and click on credits. You need to charge up at least like two dollars or something of credits, right? Don't be a cheap ass. This will last you for a long time with QWQ32B. Once you do that, we need to get our API key. So click on the top right, click on keys and click on create key. I'm going to name this QWQ uh, test and we don't need to add any limit. Now, by the way, if you want to see more of my videos on your recommended feed, again, please go below and click subscribe button. Okay, so we have the code right here cursor wrote. API key, let's replace this. I literally copied what, you know, Open Router gave me. So I copied this. Let's replace what's in between the quotation marks with the API key. Now, warning, API keys are sensitive. Treat them as passwords. I will revoke my key before uploading this video. Never share them with anybody, right? Once we have this in here, we can see that OpenAI is um, underlined, right? So something is wrong. This is because we need to, we need to install the OpenAI package. All you need to do is hover over it inside of cursor and click on fix in chat, right? And it will explain what the issue is. The error is because it means the opening app package is not installed. To fix this, simply install the package using pip. Thanks to cursor, it's super simple, right? So you can literally click just run. It will open the terminal and automatically run the command. And it's as easy as that. So I can do command J to close the terminal. And now we have this installed. We have the API key pasted. So now things should look good. Actually, these two things are optimal, optional, right? So we don't even need the extra headers. We can delete that and we can delete the extra body as well. And so here we have, what is the meaning of life? I'm going to do which AI company do you think will reach AGI first? And this will actually wait until it's fully responded. So maybe this is not the best thing, but yeah, actually, you know what? Let's, um, let's do a web search on this, right? So I'm going to use GPT 4.5. And I'm going to tell it, browse the web about how to make OpenAI chat completions API streaming. And then we can just paste it inside of cursor. The issue is right now we're waiting for the entire model to respond. It's a reasoning model. So sometimes it does a lot of reasoning, even though it's crazy fast. Also, the second issue is that with Open Router, we need to define which provider it is using. We didn't define that right now, so it might have chosen a slow provider. That's why, uh, okay, now it's finished, right? So th this took longer than it need to, but um, we're gonna fix that in a second. So what we need to do is we need to change this to token streaming. That way we can see the response being generated. And then we need to give it, and we need to give a list of providers we want, right? Which we prefer. Because as you remember, for this model, so if we go to models, QWQ32B, we have a bunch of providers. It's an open source model, so a lot of different providers are now offering it. We want to choose the best ones because some of them, for example, this one, it has low context window, right? So if you want to, if you want to give it, let's say, in Vectal, we want to give it all the tasks, you know, all the chat history, stuff like that. This is not the best provider to use that, right? So you need to be careful which providers you choose is all I'm trying to say. Okay, so now let's copy the results from Vectal which again, for the web search, we use Perplexity Pro. We're going to paste in the results from Vectal, and I'm going to say, using the search results above, update main.py so that we are properly streaming the tokens, okay? Again, I'm typing in plain, Eng plain English. I'm not doing any high-level magic. All of you can do this. You need a bit of work ethic, and you need the ability to push through the friction. That's it. That's it. Like as long as you can type in English and you you can you don't quit, 
you're already ahead of 99% of people. Most people just quit at the slightest inconvenience. The first error they see, they quit instantly. And it's really sad to see. That's why most people aren't successful, to be frank. Anyways, let's accept the changes that Cursor did. And again, I didn't write a single line of code. I just accepted what Cursor did. So now, when we run the script, we should see the tokens as they're being streamed. So boom, there it is. And you can see how insanely fast QWQ is. I mean, wow. Really think, imagine just having hundreds of AI agents doing different tasks, different objectives for you. The next six months are going to be crazy. It's really insane. So, okay, no, actually two more things. I'm going to show you how to give web search to any AI agent you're building with Open Router because this is actually amazing. Open Router has made it so easy. So let's go to the docs. Well, okay, we can either go it through docs or the simpler ways, obviously, to ask Vectl. I'm going to say, um, how do I make my models I use via Open Router have web search? Boom. And by the way, you might see a little sneak peek here. We're adding voice input into Vectl. Like this was probably the number one feature requested. Voice input. And it's going to be pr probably released later today. If you are a Vectl customer, you actually get to impact the future of the software. All right, so now that we know how to do this, we can just copy this. I'm going to say, update our model to make it online. Do not change anything else. Open Router made it super simple. You can incorporate relevant web search results for any model, even QWQ. This is an open source model, right? So by default, this doesn't have any web search capabilities. However, with Open Router, all you need to do is append colon online, and that's it. Like, that's literally it. So if we switch, you can see the changes, right? This was before QWQ32B, but if you do online, colon online, it can do web search. So now if we tell it, if we change the prompt to like, browse the web about, what is new? I don't know the Bitcoin conference. And okay, so now this is the thing I was talking about. We don't know, oh, there it is. So it took like, man, it took like one and a half seconds to perform the web search. And then it gives the, gives the answer, right? So the recent is referring to White House Digital Asset Summit. So correct, that's what I was referring to, March 7. So literally yesterday. So this model doesn't obviously know about things that it happened yesterday because it has a certain knowledge cutoff. With Open Router, you can give web search you can, to any model. It's super simple. Obviously, it's not gonna be as powerful as Perplexity Pro, but for like it will do the job for most things, right? So now, what we've built here has token streaming and it has web search. So already, this is a very powerful start, right? This, most people have never built any AI agents in Python, and we've already, made it token stream so we can see the tokens being generated and we already gave it web search so it has the latest data at its fingertips. The last thing that remains is to choose the providers because as you can see, now it's slower. Now it's a lot slower. So we wanna make sure we're using the fastest providers. So let's go back to QWQ and we can see, we can see the providers and we can sort by throughput. So the fastest is obviously Grok, right? So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm going to kill this terminal. I'm going to copy our code. Let's go back to Vectl. Let me expand this a bit. I'm going to paste in our code. I'm going to say, browse the web to figure out how I can choose which specific provider I use when using the open router API. We need to do this extra body. So I'm going to just going to copy it and let, <laughs> let's let the AI do it. Paste it in. Boom. And I'm going to say, update main, so make sure to tag in the files you want cursor to update. Update main so that we use Grok as the provider. And maybe we want a second provider, the fallback one, to be Fireworks, right? So Fireworks is also really fast. All right, so let's see, boom, close. Okay, so we need an extra body parameter in the API call, and then we can set the providers. And let's say if one of these is down, super simple, open router automatically will route our API request to the other one. Okay, so we have this, right? So we have the fastest provider, which is 461 tokens per second, and the second one, which is 129. Both are amazing speeds, right? But that's why you need to define it manually. We have these like slow ones, like 31. It's still solid speeds, right? But like, why would you use 31 tokens per second when you can use 461 tokens per second? This is why you need to be careful which providers, and this is why you should do the extra body parameter with the specific list of providers defined. So now 
when we run our script, not only do we have token streaming, web search, we also have a defined list of the best API providers for this model possible. So if one of them is down, we will just switch to another one, no problem. Oh my God, crazy speed. So obviously at the start, there is a slight delay because it's doing the web search. This is also important. It's not just the throughput, it's the latency, right? So maybe Fireworks is a bit slower for the first token than Grok. Nebius seems to be very fast on both. Obviously Grok is the fastest, right? It's crazy. They have custom, <laughs> custom LPUs, literally custom hardware to make this happen. This model is insane and I don't know why people aren't paying attention to it. It's absolutely a pure wonder how, like this model is the performance of O1 and Deep Cigar 1 while being 20 times smaller than Deep Cigar 1. Guys, please do what I said, do what I just said. Download this model locally on your computer. You never know when you need it. And also when you run it locally, your data isn't going anywhere. Nobody is collecting your queries, right? It's not leaving your computer. That's another added benefit of running models locally. They're completely private. So if you want to ask some personal or sensitive questions, do it locally on your computer. Don't do it, you know, a chat GPT, you're sending all your data to OpenAI, which basically is Microsoft, right? There's two, type of, two types of people in this world, the watchers and the doers. The watchers will just watch this and like, oh my God, this is cool, amazing. And I still appreciate you guys, right? I still appreciate you for watching my videos. But please go into the doers, ca doers category. Don't be just one of the watchers, be one of the doers. Take a deep breath and say like, okay, I'm gonna block out 20 minutes to make this happen. I'm gonna follow all the steps David laid out and I'm gonna install it locally via Olama. And maybe even you're gonna build your first AI agent with cursor. Again, I showed you everything in this video. Try to think into the future. Try to put yourself three months from now, six months from now. Don't only look at this model right now. In three months, there will be a model that's five times, 10 times more powerful than this. That's maybe like 7 billion. This is crazy, right? You need to look into the future in the AI space. Don't just blindly see like, okay, this model is right here. Yeah, it's cool. No, think about the implication this release has for the next three months. There's going to be 20 times smaller model than this. There's going to be literally 1.5 billion model that runs locally on your phone. I'm going to make a video in three months about O1 level model on the same level as OpenAI O1 that is going to run on your phone. And there's still going to be people that are not going to do anything about it. Now, obviously you guys are watching this video, so you do understand the implications of, of this acceleration of improvements in AI. And you do understand that if you don't get into AI now, if you don't start building AI agents or doing something, you will fall behind. And if you're someone who hates wasting time and who likes to be hyper productive, make sure to go to vectal.ai and sign up because the infinite thinking agent will blow your mind. This is a fully autonomous agent that does not exist anywhere else. This AI agent constantly thinks and works on your tasks, does web research on your behalf, and just tries to save you time in any way possible, tries to get you closer to your goals, the goals that you defined in the user context, which you can access right here. No other productivity app has anything close to this. So if you want to be on the cutting edge of AI, if you want to have AI agents that constantly help you do your work for you, help you save time in any way you can, and if you want to have cutting edge AI models such as GPT 4.5 and Cloud 3.7, if you want to have access to all of that and more, go to Vectel.ai and sign up. You can get started for free. Plus, you can also talk to the developers. You can join our Discord in the bottom right and you can talk to the developers, which you cannot do for any other software that you use. With that being said, thank you guys for watching and I wish you a wonderful, productive week. See ya.